I wanted to start by asking you uh, about an Instagram posting of yours that I watched in the last few moments where you spoke of a true win in this conflict and said it should involve occupation, displacement and settlement. What do you mean? I mean justice. What I mean, the, uh, what I mean is very simple. Justice. Uh, the land of Israel belong to, belong to the people of Israel, only to the people of Israel. And as long as the uh, Arab occupation of uh, parts of our land will continue, they will not stop until they, uh, you know, they get a good appetite and will wish for more. But when you say displacement, what are you saying should happen to the people who live on those lands now? And by those people, I'm referring to the Palestinian people. You're referring to who? The Palestinian people. Uh, I think we should start uh, talking the truth. There is no Palestinian people. There is an Arab nation, which I respect as any other human being. But by using false names and, and creating false reality, we're not going to achieve any uh, solution, definitely not a solution of peace. Uh, a, little, uh, a little history lesson will show you immediately that there is no Palestinian nation. Uh, uh, where, were yeah, the, where, where were those Palestinians in, uh, before uh, the 1967 war, the Six-Day War? Did they ask for a Palestinian state in Judea and Samaria and Gaza when those territories were controlled by Arab countries, by Jordan and, and Egypt? No, they're asking for, for, for the last square inch of where is there a, a Jewish sovereignty at that moment. So, so this whole invention of Palestinian nation is, is a, a weapon in order to destroy the, the Jewish sovereignty on their holy land. That's that's okay, the, that's I'll the whole story here. So 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 you, okay, uh, so, I, well, that's, that's so you will excuse your, me. Your, you will excuse me if I will not. Story. If I'm, so so I'm asking your, you know, May I uh, ask a question. One second. I'm just finishing. So you will excuse me if I will not uh, compromise with this language that represents the biggest lie in the 20th century. There is no Palestinian nation. Okay, uh, you have made that point and people will have heard it and you know only too well that a lot of people listening to that will will hugely run counter to what you have just said. Um, I wanted to ask you about international law and the view it has of the situation we're currently describing. All Israeli settlements are illegal under international law as they violate Article 49 of the Fourth Geneva Convention, which Israel ratified. And settlement expansion plans, and we're seeing more of those at the moment, are often used as a way to consolidate Israel's annexation of occupied territory, and that contravenes Article 2, 4 of the UN Charter. How do you respond to that specifically in the light of what you've just said? I will respond to everything you said, but uh, I hope uh, uh, you'll give me the time to, to, to explain because my, my English is not so great as yours. So please give me the time. First of all, the fact that huge majority will not agree with what I said about the existence of Palestinian nation does not mean it is not true. Truth and false is not about democracy. Hmm. It's about... It's important on the international it's, it's, stage. It's, so it's, it's, about, it's about reality, okay? So I'm talking about facts over here and not about majority or minority, okay? That's, that's first of all, I'm saying the truth. I'm connected to the true reality, the, the mm. true one and only reality and history that there is. But this is and for, it's my obligation. It's my obligation in this position to point out that what No, that's very well. I'm, I'm not angry not at that. Upon by, but, no, 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 I accept that. But I just wanted to make that point because that's clearly my job and what I'm here to do. Definitely, that's definitely fine. I'm just... I'm just saying that the argument that I'm wrong because they're the majority but that will not agree with me is 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 not uh, realistic. Uh, it's not it's not, it's not a factor in uh, for my understanding what's right and what's wrong. 
if you're right, you're right, even, even if most of the people do not agree with you. And, uh, you know, you can go back to the story of uh, the emperor in new clothes. Everybody thought that the, the, the king is well-dressed. Okay, but the one, one kid who said that the king is naked was obviously the right, uh, was, was connected to reality. So if I need to be the, 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 that uh, little boy who says the king is naked, uh, I will. Okay, that, that's, that's first of all. Now about your second point that you made about the international law. Okay, for, for, for very strange reason, this international law is not so bothered about what the Hamas did at the 7th of October. What it, it's what, absolutely condemned it in every way possible. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not true. Now you're not saying the truth. Now you're not saying the truth. The UN, okay... And, 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 and the UN organization doing whatever they can in order to run away from that condemning. If they do, they do it of only on, after pressure and after uh, 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 and when they have no, no other, and, and in, 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 from, with half of their mouth and, and, and so on. So, so I definitely don't agree with what you said right now. Now, uh, uh, I'll, I'll give you another example. How much is the international law dealing with the, with with a uh, horrific thing that happened in Syria, in uh, North Korea, in uh, in Russia, in China? You see so that from some reason the international law is used specifically in much 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 a bigger scale against the Jews who are trying to resettle the, their promised land. Right, uh, but I am not asking you about the international law as it applies to Russia or Syria or North Korea. I'm asking you about the international law as it applies to Israel. Why? Because that's why we invited you onto the program. And, I, and, I'm, and what I'm trying to say that this is not the reason. But the international law is another, just like, just like the... The concept of Palestinian, it's a kind of weapon that you use, that you try to use, or language that you try to use, because you have an agenda. Where it's comfortable for you, you use it, and where it's not comfortable you don't, for you, you don't use it. Now, It's uh, the law agreed internationally. It's nothing to do with an agenda. It's what countless countries have sat down and agreed upon over many, many decades of dispute and discussion does that count for and for some reason to the most horrific thing that happens all over the world the, the, the this law do not work and when the jews are doing the most moral thing in the world coming back to their promised land that they never forget for 2000 years there's no nation that has a connection to a piece of land stronger than the jews to the biblical promised land. And you're coming to me with this ridiculous concept of some international law, which, is, which, which do not exist, by the way. It's all they, the, the difference between, between the international law and the regular law is that the international law refers only to those nations that, as you said, accept it on themselves. Now, okay. you, now you're right that Israel, unfortunately, accept this ridiculous code on itself, and it should stop this doing so. This is the Geneva Convention. It, which Israel yes, and, and, it should, and it should, and, and what I think, that that was a terrible mistake of my country. Okay. Fine, you have made that uh, abundantly clear. Can I go back to where I began? Yes. This word displacement. I know you, you've, you won't accept that these people are Palestinians. For the sake of this question, would you mind at least acknowledging the existence of people who are not Israelis on that land. What should happen to them if your displacement policy is put forward? Okay, right now in Gaza, there are 800,000 uh, Arabs left. Some of whom are starving. Will you listen to me till the end? Right now, there is no 2 million, no 1 million. There are 800,000 Arabs in, in, the, in the Gaza Strip right now. And the only reason that they are still there 
and they're not leaving as the, the huge majority of their neighbors wished to do and did, and actually paid before the 7th of October uh, 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 thousands of dollars to leave, leave this place and find their future in a much better place. The reason why they don't leave is because uh, 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 um, different forces all over the world don't want to let them we leave because of a political agenda. They right. they would why love they, they would their, love to why, leave why the place. Should they leave? Why should they leave? It's their home. They live there. They should they should leave because it's a terrible place for them. And most of them, if you the the, the fact is the fact is that the, uh, that they left in the last. No, they're still there. There are hundreds of thousands of them still there. Currently all I'm saying, all I'm saying is bombs. open the gates and let them, don't stop them from, to, from fulfilling what they wish to do. They are being used as a political card by evil forces. They're being used and called, and called a, 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 a fake nation in order to become a weapon against the Jews. Now, 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 the fact that the international law, I'll tell you immediately, the international law was never raised when they shot missiles against Israeli cities during the last 30 years since Israel left the Gaza Strip. Well, once again, that was widely condemned by the international community it, on every occasion. That it that was happened. widely condemned. I, I, I disagree is what you said. What you said now is not truth. It's the opposite of the truth. It was not wildly condemned. The, basically, the, 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 the world accepted, okay? Israel left the Gaza Strip. They continue shut, shut is, uh, missiles against, against Israel, we, uh, which ended with what we got at the 7th of October. And all this interview right now is about the bad Israelis and not the bad uh, occupy, real occupiers that took the, our land and, and, and murdered and raped and did what they did in, at the 7th of October, which is, this is ridiculous. You putting yourself, uh, 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 my dear friend, on the evil side of humanity right now at the, at, 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 at the, way, this, at, at the way this interview is, is, is happening. Because all this interview, and you cannot say it's not, it's about how bad the Israelis are and how and how and how difficult it's it is for them well these people well, these, well, well well these people well these people let me just finish that these people voted 80 percent of them voted for Hamas this, so, this is not an organization separated from the people of Gaza the people of Gaza are Hamas totally so, Hamas well, okay they, they're not totally. Hamas. They all responsible. The, you you are. Re wait. So are let me ask you a question. Hamas. I don't. Don't you have any kind of responsibility to the leadership you're voting for? Let me ask you about. Why don't the, you answer? Because so, I'm I'm asking questions rather than than answering them. Um, let me ask you about where you think all of those people should go if they were to leave along the lines that you described. Exactly where about a million left already. Okay. They, they, they decided to go to Dubai. They decided to go to Europe. Many of them going to Turkey. They have 22 Arab countries that talk their language. Uh, 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 the British uh, Empire already cut the land of Israel to two in, in the 20s when uh, it was actually Winston Churchill before the war and, and created a created Palestinian state on the land that was belonged to was supposed to be belong to the Jews on the eastern side of, of the Jordan River. It's called Jordan today. They have many they have the whole world to go to. Definitely all the Arab world to go to. The Jews have only one place and this is the land of Israel. Right. And this is the so, land of so Israel. Create thousands upon thousands of refugees, and then see what happens. And 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 you hope you hope they'll be okay. That's that's roughly where we're coming from, um, on that. As far as I can tell. If uh, if you um, don't, if you no no no, you don't you don't say just throw this uh, sentence and and continue. My obligation 
is to care about my people. Let me tell you something very simple. Mm. There was no Nukba forces that crossed, crossed the uh, channel uh, uh, in 1930 in, in, in World War II from, from France, German Nukba, Nukba forces that uh, uh, slaughtered kids in London and, and, raped, uh, uh, and raped women in, in, in any other city of, of England. And yet you, the British people, burned to ashes every German city you could get to, including men, women, and children. You are the last one, last one, to come with, with, with any uh, uh, complaints to us when we starting to take, when, when we wish to take care of our own people, our own nation, on our only little land, holy land, that we got here in the Middle East. Can I ask you about the situation on the West Bank specifically? Um, uh, again, I'm going to quote United Nations figures, which you, you may contest, but that's obviously um, for you to do if you choose to. Um, but according to the United Nations Office for Humanitarian Affairs, and these are figures between the 7th of October and the 20th of February this year, uh, there have been settler killings of eight Palestinians, 111 injured and the displacement of of more than 1200 including nearly 600 children uh, 561 incidents of israeli settler attacks against palestinians in that time How you know I'm, I'm, i hear i hear those figures and i laugh i really laugh it so is that, it, 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 it is so it's so ridiculous it's so ridiculous never happened first of all never happened it, 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 it is so ridiculous. You have here killers. You know, you know. It's like uh, I don't know even where to start. I don't know where to start. I mean, I mean, look. If a raper uh, catching a woman, and, and 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 she's screaming and yelling and she's biting his finger, so okay. And then you say she was violent. This is what you do right now. This is what you well, do me, right now me, with, this, let, with, with let these me, questions. Let me put the figure to you. The, 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 the figure, the figures. Why, why, should again. why should you lie again? Why should you lie again? Yes, you are. You lie, closing, you're lying closing. to your people. It, 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 uh, listen, I live here. No, but, but, but the United Nations, the United Nations that you're quoting, basically, basically are, are, are on the evil side today. You're well, helping the terror. You You're helping terror. You, are... you can quote from to, for today. Look, 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 there must be, there must be a, 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 a realistic base that we, we are uh, talking and referring to. Uh, the United Nation is not a realistic base. The United, the United Nation is more part of the terror organization today. What are you talking about? Well, the the bad, the, the murderer, the, the listen, listen, listen to me, well. listen to me, good mister. The terrorists coming from the Arab side, the attackers, the killers, the slaughters. What are you talking about? What are you I'm talking really, about? I live I'm here. Really I see really what happens here. Look, I'm, I'm willing you, to, I'm willing to answer all your questions. But if, you, if you're putting a big lie like that on the tab table as a fact, there's nothing to discuss. I so attributed it to the United Nations, who say that 503 Palestinians have been killed in the West Bank. I'm sorry for using this, this, this language. This is the biggest bullshit I heard for so much, for, for so many times, so, so long that I cannot even refer to it, okay? There's, the, 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 the situation here is exactly the opposite. Exactly the opposite. Now, if you want to live in dreams which are fits your 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 imaginations, fine, go ahead. I'm telling you that the situation is under 100 percent, 180 degrees opposite. The Arabs are killing the Jews, and not the opposite as, you, as they're trying to show it. Okay. That's the situation. Now, please ask me questions and and, and about re, about the true reality and not about the false reality. On this program since October the 7th, uh, there have been occasions when we have sat down with Israelis and Palestinians who are working together, whether it's in the business community 
whether the arts world, the music world, the sporting world, to try and make the situation that you and others face in the region better. Are they so wrong to try to do that? Besides the fact you use you use the, the the word Palestinian again, which I I don't I don't uh, uh, agree on. I agree I agree with what you just uh, said. Whenever uh, uh, an Arab people or any other Gentile doesn't matter if he's an Arab or or, or any other uh, nation wish to work together in peace and not taking away my 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 land from me and not to kill me. So, um, my, 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 my door is open. Go ahead. We're not looking for war. We're not looking for, God forbid, bloodshed. But the minute you use, but, the, but the minute you did use the word Palestinian, Palestinian, you basically said that I am an occupier on my own land, that, that, that the land belonged to different nations. So basically, you declared war with these naive sentences. The minute you're saying the word Palestinian, you basically declared war on me because you basically said that my land do not belong to, to, to me anymore. It belongs to a different nation. Okay? So just take off the word Palestinian from the sentence, and I agree with every word you said. So your door is open but it's only open if you won't refer to them as Palestinian and if they all leave Gaza where they currently live. My door is Bank. fully open to any kind of good relationship with any nation in the world mm. as long as they accept the fact that the land of Israel, the biblical land of Israel, belongs to the Jews and only to the Jews. So your door is open, but solely on your terms. Oh, I, 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 I'm willing to, to talk to you only if you'll give me half of London. Is, the, is, is your door open to me as well with, 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 with this uh, um, wish of mine? So, can, you, can we talk about it? I think you know well that London is not in my gift. Uh, the point I was making is that if you only open your door, when the people walking in already know they've lost before they even pushed it open. No one is lost. What's the point of the No one is lost. Off? No one is lost. They will see it as a loss. Well, a huge well loss. If, if you want if you want to declare war without saying it and wish to me to to, to, to give you my land, uh, uh, you're basically declaring war and you'll find war. And I'm gonna win that war, let me tell you. I'm going to win that war, he, and and the, and, 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 and when and when and when and, and, and the path and already. the path you taking, that definitely represented in, in this in this uh, in this interview, the path you taking, will will promise that the war will never end, the bloodshed will never end, so, and one of the and one and one of the uh, the the forces that will be responsible for it. So, is the BBC. So, because when you're taking this side, the evil side of history, and you should so, understand, you should understand that the Jewish nation is coming back to their promised land after 2,000 after two years, exactly as it's mentioned in the Bible. Okay? It's so, a biblical move what's happening right now. It is a promise. It's a moral promise and moral direction for the and 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 and, and the uh, uh, redemption for the entire humanity, it is something that the evil forces of humanity are trying to stop. So you should so, understand that the reason why the Balfour Declaration was given from the first place was exactly because of that. Because the good side of the British nation realized after World War I that we need a different message that will come, come to the world from the promised land, to the entire humanity, that the Jews has to come back to, the, to their promised land and create their nation again and radiate, to the, radiate from here to the entire world the, the, the true message 
from f- the, the true methods, the, the true moral, moral, that all the believers in the world know that will come from Zion. So, and and, the, and uh, those forces that you represent right now in, in, this, in this interview, who are trying with all kind of lies, like Palestinian nation, like Jews are mur- the, the murdering Palestinians, so-called Palestinians and so on, so on trying to stop it, stop this, this, this Im- a, a, amazing a, 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 a redemption of, of what we see here when the Jews are creating their, their promised land again, basically connect themselves to the evil side of history. You should understand that. Amidst all of this, there are still significant numbers of Israeli hostages being held by Hamas in Gaza. How does anything that we have discussed in the last 15 minutes or so help them? If Israel would have won that war in the first week as it should, react just as you, the British people, acted in, in, in Dresden, in Hamburg, just as the Americans acted in Hiroshima, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, show the evil its right place in the world. There's no place to that kind of Islamo-Nazism in, in, in history, in the world. If Israel would have acted the way it should have, the war would have been behind, uh, uh, be, uh, uh, behind us already after the first or the second week, because the IDF, because the IDF, is, the because the IDF is much that. stronger, and then, and then there would have been no humanitarian, so-called humanitarian aid to who? To the Hamas. No fuel. No, 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 because you cannot breathe in these. You of Hiroshima, of Nagasaki. Of Dresden. Oh, oh, we did not. We we sh, we did. We do not need to do this. Excuse me for, for uh, not explaining. All we needed to do, is to close the water, close the gas, close the electricity, and let them come out of the tunnels with the refugees asking for the for, for mercy and for their lives. Instead of that, we did exactly the opposite. Stupidly. Punishment. In other words, collective punishment. What do you th- what, who, living in Gaza were punished who, 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 who do you Gaza. think who do you think the war is against excuse me who's the enemy who is the enemy everyone living in Gaza when you fought against the Germans you fought against the Luftwaffe or against Germany answer me if Churchill, if, if, if your prime minister in World War II, when you were attacked by, attacked by the German Luftwaffe, would tell the, 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 the British people, we have a war against the Luftwaffe, who would have won the war? You or the Germans? Answer me. On one hand, you're telling me that they are a nation. On the other hand, and, and on the other hand, when this so-called nation voting my, by huge amount of uh, uh, 80% for Hamas you're saying no they're not Hamas they are good people there are some are some are getting aliens that came from Mars named Hamas and the problem is I with them not not you. not with the poor not with the poor people of Gaza you, 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 you understand the, the problem hostages. I'll tell you two things first of all the way to, t- to 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 release them I told you already okay and yes and yes the war is against every human being that that voting for Hamas, that made Hamas his leadership. The, 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 the war is against the people of Gaza. That's the war. The fact that we're talking about Hamas is another kind of lie, and that's why the war never ends. This is first of all. Now, now uh, uh, in wider scale, a so- true leader of Israel should, should think about the hostages of next year. You know why, why we got all these hostages? Because we released terrorists in all kinds of deals before, including Sinwar himself, who sat in Israeli prison. So sometimes leaders have to do, they have to think of the interest of the entire nation and not only of the individual, and this way, 
they saving lives in the future. So, the, so your answer lays between these two corners. Okay. Um, I think we'll 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 draw the the conversation to a close. Um, thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you. Uh, I wish you well. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye.